So we start out as a subject that's individuated, with lots of assumptions, seemingly standing in its way, its sense of I am, and a true I am, the beingness of God, or source. And through the emptying out of those filters, which takes courage and takes practice and takes persistence and time and patience, we clean that lens of perception, we become purer and humbler in our understanding, in our perception. And therefore, we, we seemingly traverse this trajectory of I'm over here, God's over there, and I'm getting closer and closer and closer to source. But it can be revealed to you in deep moments of meditation and with persistent practice more constantly, more continuously, that actually you are source and the character is just appearing in front of you with all of its illusions and social constructs and conventionalities. So now you are source watching the person trying to live up to itself, to you. So you can make that shift, not by pretending, but by doing that work, like I just laid it out and applying it to virtually anything you can find solidity with within your consciousness. Again, solidity is the product of assumptions. As soon as you feel some sense of solidity, you know there's an assumption about that thing being projected as really independently existing from consciousness out there as a separate thing. You might know about oneness, but if you don't investigate every aspect of your reality, then you're not going to walk through this experience as if it is a dream. You're not going to feel that liberation. You're not going to feel as close to what you are as source. And you're going to feel like you're this solid thing, bumping into solid things, needing solid things to sustain its solid thingness. And at some point, when you get some clarity on this, that becomes a tiresome approach. And, um, and naturally, you'll have to desire to dissolve that, to relax that, to surrender that, to know God more purely in this moment, every moment, da, 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 da. Purif purification, subtleification becomes subtler. God is the subtlest thing that can be experienced. The absolute is beyond experiencing. It's the absolute source of even that pure first consciousness that enables everything to be perceived. And so you can re reverse your steps. Subtleification, purification. And the good thing is, you know, it's a beautiful journey also in and of itself. And it's worth it even if you don't glimpse it all the way. It's worth the purification alone is worth it. And that, in my understanding, is what you take with you. When you die, nothing else you will. But the purification that hasn't been established is at a soul level. And so that is true progress in the linear scheme of things and the evolution of the soul.